begin this let's play. So let's do it. Hello and welcome everybody to another let's play by yours truly Cassis Clay. Today we have uh, World War 3, a game that technically came out in 2018. I played it back then, I enjoyed it, and uh, they eventually took it down because of server issues and some other things. Uh, and as of yesterday, it is officially back up, but this time in closed beta. Um, just to be upfront right now, this game is in closed beta. Anybody that bought it back in 2018, they have access to it, but you can also get it by the lowest price to entry is $15. Uh, the closed beta goes until March of uh, 2022, I believe, March or February something around then and then it will become free to play for everybody so we'll see how that goes um farm 51 is the developers they also created the game uh chernobylite which i played about two months ago i enjoyed that game so i'm hoping that farm 51 does a pretty good job uh with this one so we will see um just a quick idea of what this game actually is it's basically a battlefield style game uh, it's 20 v 20 um, on tactical ops missions which is essentially conquest uh, and then you have team deathmatch which is obviously everybody knows team deathmatch it's uh, 10 v 10. Um, they do have a number of maps for these too so as you can see right here it looks like they actually I think they added a few so um, I remember there was only like four, but it looks like there's six of them now. Unless, oh wait, no, I toggled both. Never mind. There's four maps of tactical ops, and then there are some uh, smaller ones for team deathmatch. So it's all there, pretty much. Uh, there's a lot, and I I'm saying this. There's a lot of customization right now, just off the bat. You have everything from your player banner, which cool, like. Uh, that's what i have i have the the dead eyes which you get from uh um so for me since i bought the game in 2018 they give em everyone uh, that bought it earlier the lieutenant pack which is worth like 50 dollars. when i originally bought the game i think it was like 40 or like something like that um so they gave us the the higher version i guess and then there's also a uh a veteran status like patch and uh background that we'll be getting eventually but right now the inventory system isn't really working just yet um online that is but there's a lot of weapons a whole lot of loadouts everything from just just running down this really quick you get, here's your identification your equipment your strikes which is score streaks in a way um and then your character there is character customization as well for your soldier so going into the loadouts um every few levels you unlock new ones so starting out you get the assault anti-tank and support uh and then you can swap them out basically whatever you want to do uh here's all the weapons i believe there's 29 uh there's eight assault rifles you only get one in the beginning because you have to unlock the rest uh, two battle rifles, four LMGs, three sniper rifles, two shotguns, four sidearms, two launchers, and three SMGs. Um, I believe you get an assault rifle, a battle rifle, the first one you unlock at level three. Um, I played about two games yesterday. They've been now they have been having some server issues so the game has kind of been going in and out uh, my dog's crying a little bit so i might have to take her out um but i think she's also just missing my wife right now because she's been a little baby for a little bit anyways uh you get an lmg sniper rifle you unlock at level like three i think shotgun i haven't gotten yet you get one sidearm uh, a launcher I don't remember and I think you also get an SMG in the beginning so that's essentially all the starting equipment <laughs> when you start 
you can have uh you basically don't really get a lot of attachments but the more you play with the gun the more you unlock it so just from here 13 kilometers and hollow you also have five different versions of iron sights six versions of medium magnification and one special which is essentially a thermal scope uh and keep in mind this is just one weapon right now just a single weapon so all of this is just gonna kind of keep on going more and more um i believe you can have up to five attachments as well so you can have a, a site a secondary site under barrel then you can have like a side item or a muzzle um i don't know how much you can actually change but yeah there's a there's a lot and then on top of this they also do a similar system kind of like to battlefield most recently is you can have a backpack system and in that backpack you can have secondary sites you can have uh secondary gadgets like grenades and uh first aid kits it looks like other items like that muzzles you can throw on a suppressor you can take off a suppressor um then the, of course you have primary gadgets like med pack equipment which is essentially it looks like three grenades and gadgets so you get more items uh to throw armor pack uh or ammo pack and then there's an armor pack uh because you can get your helmet shot shot off or your body armor destroyed basically um then of course you can wear lighter armor plates or heavier armor plates it will weigh you down more though uh and then same thing with the helmet you can wear a lighter one or a uh, more protective one that gives you a little bit of medium protection um and that's just the beginning for the single rifle now there's so many weapons too that you can even mix and match so much um going into the loadouts for the strikes this is essentially your score system so as you play the game you continue to get points uh, especially if you're playing like an objective like uh tac ops um so real quick i'm gonna take my dog out again because she's been having to go to the bathroom sometimes but hopefully she's good right after um i will be right back okay so after a quick break i am now back uh after taking my dog out so anyways score streaks here uh essentially as you play the conquest game or team deathmatch you gain points and you redeem those points in calling in uh uav jammers uav uh some sort of support system which right here you have bombing artillery or an airstrike uh you can really mix and match and it tells you how much uh points that it requires for you to actually use them so uh and then it also gives you stats on whether it's for anti-infantry or anti-armor depending on what it is kind of goes all over the place uh and they do give you originally uh kitted things but then you can swap them out like i said so it kind of goes all over the place uh but yeah at least you have that option to to create your own load loadouts and that kind of stuff and then finally you have character customization uh right now there's not too much that you can do uh you have a basic face that you can create uh there's helmets some of them i mean once you unlock them then of course you can swap them in and out uh but right now there's only a few really uh at least for me um and you also have face mask glasses uh other equipment like that gas masks in the future uh, you do face paint different types of things there uh then there's gloves five different pairs uh chest piece 
Then you also have uh, body paint, basically tattoos or uh, any type of like designs or camo again, or, or like similar to face paint and then pants. Um, aside from all of that, then you also have some personal stuff, which essentially is like your badge on your shoulder. Um, you can set a specific one for that. That's constantly on your character. Uh, you also have a flag right above that badge um, or that emblem, your unit, essentially. Then there's a sentence. By default, they give you good guy, zero fox given, and hold my beer. Uh, but there are some other funny ones in here. Don't follow me. I'm lost to SWAT. Uh, just the tip. Oh, a whole bunch of uh, funny things. And then, of course, you have voiceovers. Um, what up? Which I think I'm actually going to change mine. Hey! Roger that. What is it? Affirmative. See ya, Web. We're all now. Test! Dobre! Aye. Bestätigt! Absurd! Привет! Potwierdzam! Hej! Co tam? Kupiamy sa? To wypełniają! Co tam? Hoj! Hoj! Servus! Privet! Tak toczna! I might go with Boris. Actually, I was going with uh, Ted. What up? What up? Yeah, but I, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, there's also going to be, so you probably see these a lot. Uh, there are blueprints. Essentially, br blueprints are what they are is it's a, from my understanding, it's a created sis, uh, set of gear and slash or weapon uh from the developers so essentially you can i'm assuming you'll be able to buy blueprints and you'll get a weapon but that weapon will be specific to have a specific look to it and then a specific attachments and stats i would assume um the default stuff you can obviously mix and match but like in this case we have world war three veteran um whenever they unlock the inventory system on their website I'll be able to use that, but right now, uh, that's still either being worked on or in development. So once it does become available, I can select that and it would just basically change my whole character's look to that setting. And I don't think you can swap out like your helmet or any of that. It's just your, your set at that. Um, so that's my understanding of blueprints. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all the customization. Now I'm sure you probably want to see some uh, some gameplay. So in a second here, we will jump into some. All right, so here we are, queued up for our first match of the uh, the let's play. So when you start in the game, it automatically just gives you a random name. That's why I like this player four four one five zero gives you that at the top right. But you do have this option where if you click it, uh, change name, it'll let you select a new name. Uh, just be careful with that because once you select a name, you are stuck with that name until they open up uh, the capabilities of buying the currency to therefore change your name. So whatever you set it as, you're in that until uh, until whenever that that option becomes open so i just actually clicked a little bit fast but um so i just loaded into the game first thing you select is your equipment second thing you select is your strikes which ones uh your kill streaks that your score streaks technically that you want to use for the match um you can of course press escape and then change it and that way the next time you spawn in you are now using that next uh item or choice that you made but that's uh it's up to you Hold one second and you close something out but yeah so this is it this is uh world war three right here 
like I said, I, I played this game originally back in uh, 2018. Back then I wasn't, uh, I believe I streamed it a little bit, but I never really uh, exported anything uh, to YouTube or anything like that. So, um, so there's that. But the, uh, the capture system, I mean, if you know Battlefield, it really is very similar to it uh, for the, the whole map and area. Um, like I said, it is 20 v 20. So going up against other people, it's not anything like 64 versus 64 in Battlefield 2042. Um, the capture system seems to be a little bit slower too. Right now we're racking up those points. And as you can see, I just got 414, 432, 450. Uh, in the top right, there's also strike points where that's where that comes from. So now that I'm at 740, uh, in another 160 points, I'll be able to call in a uh, UAV if I choose to. Um, there are squads, and then there's also uh, the squad leader can, can tag objectives. Right now, my squad leader is not tagging anything. So when you look at the objective, I can request them to give us one. And if he doesn't, then over time, it'll eventually make me them. So, I just got wrecked right there. <laughs> um, unfortunately, there is no revive system, but respawning and all that is fairly quick, so it's not horrible. Yeah, and there we are. It just gave me squad lead because they didn't uh, select an objective. Now, I can go over here and select the objective and tell us who to attack and what to defend. I'm gonna throw down a med kit. I think I thought I, oh, okay. So right now, this uh, glitching part to it, I haven't ran into that yet, but I think that is part of the, uh, the UAV jammer, essentially taking, taking out our HUD and uh, other stuff. At least that's what it seems like. Now, my really only complaint so far for this game has been uh, the audio. When it comes to firing and shooting your guns, uh, they really don't sound that great so far. And apparently from those who have played the, uh, the alpha, kind of feel the same way um i actually didn't play the alpha or anything before this so the only thing i really played was the original release in 2018 um so all that is new to me at least i'm gonna turn down the audio a little bit because it feels really loud still go with the nice 69 and see how that is These guys are all my squad right here. <clears throat> you can see each one of them uh, with what equipment that they have, or at least what tactical gear that they have. And then there's also uh, sec. There we go. So it is working. So you can walk up to equipment or vehicles and just start repairing it by yourself. Now, I... Okay, I'm going to run out of repair equipment. Yeah. So right now, I guess it recharge, recharges because I can't do anything else. Uh, unless if I hold on to it right there and stick around but for now probably going to keep moving um in the top of the screen or in, are on the hud you can see that they link the objectives together so there's b1 and b2 and then there's c1 and c2 
I'm not 100% sure, but my assumption is that if you capture both of them, that it racks up tickets faster than it would be just having one of each. Um, that's that's my guess. I, I can't confirm that that's the case. Uh, also, there is the one kind of uh, scary thing. I, I mean, it's not like horrible, but there is friendly fire. Um, luckily, there is a punishment system, though. If somebody does, uh, you know, kill you. But at the same time, that works the other way, too, where if you accidentally kill somebody, there is a way for them to punish you. So you just got to be careful about that. Restoring health, uh, you throw it on the ground and then you press and hold F to uh, to be able to start healing yourself. Um, and yeah. One second, chat. What? Yeah, hold on. Distractions, but uh, yeah. Let's see. Objective Bravo One is under attack. Objective Alpha Two is under attack. I'm gonna need you to get in. I need you. Objective Bravo Two is under attack. Objective Bravo One is under attack. So we just took Alpha 1. We're going to go try to get Alpha 2 again. Okay, so you get an extra 50 points for capturing a linked uh, defense zone from what it looks like. Uh, Bravo 2 is over here. I'm going to try heading that way. You can uh, do a tactical sprint, like as you can see right here. And it looks, I think that sprint runs out of uh, stamina faster, but the other one does not. Uh, it gives you more time. Our units are taking hold of objective Bravo one. All right, so we made it in Bravo. There's a guy right there. So there are leaning mechanics in this. Um, I think I saw gunfire around here. Maybe not. Here. Check the second floor. Objective Alpha One is under All right, attack. and there's Bravo One captured. Let's try seeing if we can go for Bravo Two. I accidentally actually <laughs> I tagged Bravo Two. I thought we were at Bravo Two this whole time. But that is all right. Uh, so on the mini map, I'm looking. There's a guy coming around this corner right there. And of course, I knew that he was going to be there faster, but my aim was not on point right there. I try spawning on Chibo here. Should have actually so the my one complaint is it's hard to tell how close objectives are together and then also how close uh your squad squad mates are to the objective that you're trying to get to uh i often find myself struggling a little bit to 
is you kind of have to angle your camera to to see where they're at uh or like how close they are to the objective like there i shot that guy's helmet off let's reload real quick i'm gonna throw down this restore my help health hopefully just enough time to be able to get up and get shot so for some reason it makes that odd noise too whenever you spawn back in um i really wish that you could just okay here we go i can spawn in with the strike here area bravo is under our control So right now, that's how the uh, vehicle strikes spawn is, or works, essentially. Um, I'm probably going to get myself killed. Yes, I, that's exactly what I did. So that sucks. Um, that guy just got absolutely wrecked as well. So I am going to spawn on somebody else. Uh, they took back A1 and A2, so I'm going to try to actually start taking those back. Uh, meanwhile, I'm getting shot for my health. Let's see if this guy's still out here. Yep, he's in there in that corner. Not doing too great this round. But. Bravo one is under attack. Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie one. Oh, friendly. So funny thing about this a one objective here is you can actually capture it over there. Um, so right now, yeah, that guy in, in our vehicle on on my team is helping us capture this objective uh, because you can actually do it out, out there. I'm going to set a marker to A2 and start making my way over there. We just captured that. Let's see. Guess we'll make our way over to uh, B1 then. Oh God. I was wondering how you use the, so it's middle mouse button. Uh, in the bottom right, N swaps between your uh, firing modes. And then There we are. There we are. Throw that down. Reload. Hopefully I can heal, heal myself up in time. Good on that. Okay, let's move in. It's like there, uh, there also is a tagging system. By pressing X and slash or holding it, uh, you can. Nice. Had to go a little bit of a hip fire there, but we got out of that. That's so it's very hard to tell where people are i don't know if it's gonna be over here oh, oh sorry sorry <laughs> sometimes it's hard to see yeah there you go <laughs> oh man that would have been close got a little bit trigger trigger happy there uh it, it can also be a little bit difficult to tell the difference in uh 
outfits as well. Since right now, most people can have the same. Shot his helmet off. Uh, grenade throwing seems to be very heavy. Uh, so you really have to aim high when you throw your grenades. Because otherwise, they honestly land like five feet in front of you. And uh, can make for some embarrassing moments. <clears throat> Spawned onto Chivo again. Yep, that guy was around that corner there. Like he's dead now. Ah. Try spawning on this guy here. Uh, I'm going to go back over to my strikes again and swap out for one that. So let's see what happens when we go with the blast. So six, I'm actually going to call in a jammer on Bravo. Now we got that in place. Now I wonder, does that spot them too? Or squad member execute order. What happens, I, I haven't used the quadcopter yet, so I'm curious how this works. Okay, I think it's essentially a suicide bomber. <laughs> okay, that works too. So this objective is specific to the second floor. Our units are taking hold of objective Bravo 2. Objective Charlie 1 is under attack. Found that. Just took back Bravo 1. See them out this window here. Yep, there's one. Oh god. Those are some heavy rounds coming through right now. <laughs> oh man. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna try calling this over at right around here uh that was a regular artillery and i'll call in the jammer over on bravo one just about right there I like how you can mix and match pretty good uh, with a lot of these, so. There's a lot of different case, uh, use case scenarios that can be used or done. Throw a grenade up there. Don't know if that's gonna really get him. M-S-B-S-K. I honestly don't even know what the... Uh, that's what I'm using. Never mind. Our units are taking hold of objective um, I like that... I actually like the Reaper. More than uh, than I expected to. Uh, the only problem is the Quadrocopter. Not a big fan of that so far. So I'm going to change over to this Technical. Uh, which has a Mephisto. Which I think is a... Uh... a drone or not a drone um a rocket that you control if i remember correctly nice Whoa. 
And right now we have an abundance of, of points too, so. There, regardless of how many points, there is a uh, countdown for how often you can or can't use them. Oh God, right there. And and me right there too. Just hiding in the, in the ground, I guess. All right. Man. Getting jammed right now. If I remember correctly, yeah, this objective is actually right here. Out in the open, which can be a little bit difficult, but hopefully we'll have some backup here. are also a little bit broken here uh jesus dude ally friendly jammed by jammer Nice. Spawn zone captured, your order followed. So, we're, yeah, we're getting all those extra points right now, which is pretty nice. Oh, Jesus. Just got lit up by that tank. I honestly wish that there was like a five, five to 10 second revival point. Um, where you could pick up your character or if you at least went into a down state um but i don't know maybe they, they didn't think about that for this type of game maybe that wasn't in their vision but i think it would be cool um but that's just my idea obviously um all right we're running up to bravo one here I didn't, yeah, I didn't think that was going to be a great idea. We attempted, though. We attempted. That dark guy has been killing me a whole lot. First floor. Grenade in the stairs. Oh, I saw him in the corner of my eye. Ah. We are about to win this game though. We're very close. Uh, games go up to about 5,000 score score points. So we're just about there. I'm actually gonna spawn on Charlie one so that way I can try to go for Charlie two. Since we're, we're probably pretty close to that. Yeah, right there. Oh Jesus. Yeah, that one wasn't going to work out well. Objective Charlie 1 is under attack. Okay, I'm going to go for Alpha 1 and then go for Alpha 2. Alpha 2 is closer to our spawn anyway, so... And I think we're about to actually capture it. 
Yeah. Try going for Bravo one. What side are we on? We're on the east. Try calling in a uh, jammer one more time. Enemy jammed. Let's see. An airstrike, a land. Uh, right there. Okay. Yep. I see. Oh, that's friendly. Oh, no. Oh, man. What? Well, he didn't punish me. The, the icons are very little, so it's hard to see. But there we got it. Victory. First game. And I think we leveled up one time. So after the games are over, it shows you a little bit roundup, I believe, of like how your squad did uh, overall. You won. Keep up the good work. Best squad. Yeah, that dark guy I saw all over the place. Your squad. Here's my squad right here. 50,000 score. He had 78 kills. I think we are best squad on my team, but they were best squad on their team. Yeah, they beat us by 60,000 or an extra 13,000 points. So. After that little roundup, it takes us back to the uh, menu. Here we go, level up. Shows me what equipment I've unlocked. Uh, my weapon got to level seven. Unlocked a new red dot sight. And then it also takes us back to the lobby here. So, um, let me see. I kind of want to have a strike. That allows us to kind of like I, I'm gonna swap this one for that jammer because I, I really like that jammer when I was using it. Now we're on to Berlin. I think just about all these maps except for the one that i just played before this uh were in the the original release for this game so for the most part i i don't think there there's really a whole lot of new ones uh but yeah So time limit's 30 minutes. Score limit is 5,000. Um, you don't really, you're, you're not really able to swap out things once you actually get into the game. So if you want to do a lot of customization, you kind of have to do that outside. Um, which is, I, I feel like for the most part, typical. Um, unless if you have the items in your backpack. In that case, then you can actually use them whenever so i'm gonna try am i driving this thing or is it just i'm in the gunner seat Our units are now squad leader oh i'm the squad leader for Our my own squad objective mark Bravo objectives one. for your squad Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie two. uh what happened <laughs> Roaming through the streets of Berlin. And right there, we got a hostile. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Alright, let's try to capture Bravo 1. I mean, at least this vehicle drives really good. Like, this thing is quick, too. Nice. Bravo 1's captured. Let's try going for Bravo 2. I don't know how well this is going to go, but we can at least try. Wow. We were actually able to get this thing inside <laughs> of the train tracks. I mean, we technically still have an available spot for, uh, for a gunner too. They're taking Bravo one. Our units are taking hold of objective Alpha. You almost got Bravo two though. Area Bravo is under our control. Objective Charlie one is under attack. Our units are taking hold of objective Alpha two. Get that back on out. There we go. Beautiful. Very nice. Bro, I literally have a gun available. And I should have jumped, but I was going down with the shift. Captain Price. All right, look at that. <laughs> Some guy went in with Captain Price. Damn, that's loud. Uh, let's see if we can swap squads because right now we are a squad by ourselves. They have an open Our slot. Hold of objective Alpha two. Your squad, Alpha squad, Bravo squad. And the rest of them are locked. Uh, I guess I can't join any. I'm just a lone wolf squad, I guess. Two other squads are completely locked, so I can't join those, and, uh, mine's unlocked, but I'm the only one in it right now, so. And there's... Restore health. Yeah. Oh, they have to almost be dead, too. He's got to be really close. Oh, well, he's at 44 health. Now that I see it. Really, there's no slots available. Like, this one has a few slots, but they're locked. And the same thing with that one. Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie Oh. Okay, let's see. 
man it's kind of rough right now there's only so so many places i can go I can go to Charlie one, actually. Charlie one actual. This is uh, Cassis playing moving in. Serious? Bro, they were right there. All right, spawner on Charlie one, going for air, Charlie two, wherever that is. Where is Charlie too? I knew I should have got the guy on the left first. I was hoping I could kill that one first and then move over to him. Try holding Bravo one, Bravo two. Objective Bravo two, under attack. Come on. Damn. Yo up. Oh good. Our units are taking hold of objective Alpha 2. Every time I go over there, what happens? Objective Bravo One is under attack. Uh oh. Uh, Bravo One, where are we? Alpha Two, where's Alpha One? Alpha One, there it is. of Berlin. That's cool. Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie One. They have actual pictures of Berlin. You know it's crazy. Um actually real quick, so this game has a, a pack called um the President Pack and if you buy it it's it's crazy amount of money. Uh it's five thousand dollars but you're the only one that gets it you get all gold weapons uh you get a special character in your appearance 
you also get a they will literally make a map of your home town that's crazy uh and then they also will make a character movie of you and then uh there's other like equipment and other things like that that you get so some cr pretty crazy stuff dude if i had five thousand dollars to blow i would 110 percent do it uh because that is something very unique even if the game died down and like whatever personally i think that would be awesome but you need five thousand dollars to be able to do that wow i actually got him from all the way over here okay i'll take that i'm gonna attempt going for bravo one and never mind the dreams were crushed today Alpha 2, somebody's here. Come on, man. Every time. They're still capping it. Objective Bravo One is under attack. Your UAV is ready for deployment. Thank you, Slayer. They're only really winning by 500 points and we have half the amount of teammates. <laughs> so. Two character or two people are disconnected. It looks like on our team. Ah. They're taking Alpha Two again. I thought it, the jammer was going to let me. Dude, what is that? Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie one. You have to like press and hold it. Last game, it was letting me select where it goes at. Oh my. They all just came through there. Alpha one is Why does it attack. do that? There's always a loud bang. Okay, I'm going to try pressing and holding it this time. 
Wait, now it says UAV. swapping squads nope 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 area charlie is under our control your uav is ready for deployment good for bravo too Is that the same as Top Ramens? Objective Charlie Two is under oh, attack. Oh Jesus! Our units are taking hold of Objective. There's a guy I know. Somebody named Top Ramens. Curious if it's him. Objective Charlie One is under attack. Where I saw somebody. Objective Charlie Two is under attack. Im Falle eines chemischen Angriffs bleiben Sie mit dem Alpha Two. Lucky. Is there a way you can tell if you're, if you still have armor on, I wonder? Okay, yeah, you can. So my chest plate is still there. My helmet is almost destroyed. I can tell right above my, my body, right, right behind my uh, webcam. You can see it. Area Bravo is under our control. Objective Bravo 2 is under attack. Objective Alpha 2 is under attack. running i'm running there's a vehicle coming and i am running for my life oh come on are you st oh my captain price man huh. let's face it the other team's better than us this this round I don't think it's happening.
Damn. I'm hit. Oh. Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie one. Ready for this match to be over. But it's over. I do not mind that at all. S squad absolutely not me because <laughs> i was a one-man squad there that whole round okay i'm gonna go back to the main menu and try to uh check out what new equipment we got here before we load into the next game so for this we got customization a new site uh, can we actually see what our unlocks are? Okay, so here's all the levels for this weapon. Sixty, I think. Nope, keeps on going. Sixty-five. There are sixty-five levels for this uh, MSBS rifle. Pretty crazy. Uh, default magazine, we have this. Increased reload speed. Yeah, I'm going to swap that in. FMJ, that's what we have still. Um, secondary ammo. Additional magazine of standard ammo. Oh, okay. Side, none there. Level 22, you get a barrel. Uh, we do have a muzzle brake that we could equip, and I'm actually gonna swap it out with the, uh, yeah, this one. Rather have that. We got a new uh, pistol as well. I'll equip that. Ceramic armor, level eight, we get uh, the heavy armor. Right now we are wearing the, we are wearing the heavy uh, helmet. And we're still in medium for our uh, equipment and stuff, so. Fine, under barrel, muzzle, smoke grenade. Okay, that's all good there. Support marksman. I might try out the marksman. Uh, rifle two. Is this only... Let's see. Does it tell us when we unlock these? Maybe if I go to my level or career and shop and battle pass, neither of those work yet. I'm assuming this gold icon here is going to be the primary 
premium currency and the silver is going to be the free. Uh, just from looking at that. Okay, here we go. Restore our teammates. Oh, there's daily challenges. Really? Huh. Restore our teammates ammo three times. Uh, restore, restore our squad mates ammo ten times. Did not know that. Captured 10, 20 points in, in Berlin. Wow. Okay. Well, looks like we're going to be doing some ammo stuff. I did not know that at all, actually. So that's cool. Uh, levels. Okay, here we go. So five. There are 51 levels, at least from right here, it looks like. Six, you unlock a Barracuda in the Anders. Shotgun armor pack at seven. Steel plate, nine. Helicopter drone, G36. Full pop, shrapnel, Wolverine, combo suppressor, gas grenade. Okay, there's a lot of stuff actually. Cool, I didn't, I actually had no idea about this, um, this thing here, the daily challenge. So, I'm actually gonna try doing this. Uh, salt. I did change this to actually let's leave that for now if I go support item equipped so now we have this uh, veteran blueprint Okay, so they do give us that actually off the bat. I can't use that yet though, because that's locked. Can you still swap out items? I wonder. I go ammo pack. Backpack. That's fine. Secondary. grenade yeah. I'm gonna try going the support class for the next time uh, to try to do those dailies and then yeah I thought we were using the technical I'm gonna swap this out for tank I think instead actually do we have a blueprint for any yeah there we go technical okay let's give this a shot Mr. Hollywood. Okay, support and technical it is.
The audio is messed up. Wait, what happened? Am I using my other rifle? Yeah, I'm using my other one. I select selected a different equipment. Every bullet counts. Kick some ass. What? There we go. We got a squad leader that's actually tagging objectives. for alpha <laughs> I don't know if he knows he's crouching. Sorry, you're very short. <laughs> Jammer, let's put it in at right. Is happening. My audio. I can't hear my own gun. I'm trying to run out there. What? Sir, same team. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what is up with that. It's like I can hear everybody's guns except for mine. Okay, I was gonna say I'm surviving so much longer than I actually want to Okay equipment support Technical Technical Dude, what the heck?
Okay, that time it lets me. Okay. This gun suppressed. Our units are taking the anti tank? Bravo two. Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie one. What the heck is on this thing? 18 blueprints. What Our the heck? Taking hold of objective Bravo one. Oh, wait, you can. Oh, you can swap things out on the fly. Really? Huh. Objective Alpha One. That's cool. I didn't know that you could do. So you can't swap out attachments, but you can swap out that stuff. Okay, and then yeah, here's the uh the stuff too. Cool. Could take this off. This is the inventory, by the way. You look at this, this is how you can swap out like sites on the fly. That's whatever is in your backpack. Um, your custom backpack that you can swap out. All right, I'm going to try going towards our, uh, our objective. Bravo one. Area Bravo is under our control. All right, Bravo one is taken. Bravo two is under attack. All right. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. Can we spawn? With the correct kit. Yes, we have. Beautiful. Put down a jammer. Jam away. Let me just throw the the uh, LMG over my shoulder and run with it. Oh no! Wait, does this thing have? Uh... Okay, no, it does have ammo pack. Wait, is this throwing down the ammo pack? No, it's just throwing down equipment. What the heck? What the heck, man? I changed it to the ammo pack. How do you Offensive drone is ready for deployment. Nice. Move, move, move. Charlie one. Oi, how's the game going? Oh last soldier pad. Uh so far so good. Uh, little issues here and there, but, uh, I mean, as far as, like, server connection and performance, that's been going well. Uh, some loadouts, uh, having a little bit of issues. Audio is a little weird, but in general, that audio needs to be fixed. Uh, aside from that, though, pretty good. It's fun. Under 
under attack. Nice. Wonder how you use the bipod. Also, hi. I would say, I, I definitely would say worth 15 bucks. So, I mean, if you're going to be on tomorrow, we could play. It's on Steam now, too, so you can buy it directly through Steam. Good stuff. Just wanted to see real quick how it was going before I had to get back to work. All good. <laughs> That's what I figured. But yeah, I'm, I'm having fun with it so far. It's been, uh, it's been a good time. Our units are taking hold of objective Alpha One. Directly from Steam makes it more tempting. Exactly. Now, granted, when you download it from Steam, uh, it still goes through the launcher. So it still downloads like the My Games launcher, but it at least activates it for your account. Um, but then from there. Uh, <laughs> from there, you can just launch it. Grenade. Right off that wall. One more. Mark for an Alpha one captured. Nice. On to Alpha two. said hi. I think so. I don't know. I grabbed whatever I could. No, no, no I didn't. I didn't put anything on. Used it for to hold it. No. Uh. No, she got into your room and mine. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Oh, really? Oh, uh, that's not too bad. Claymore, bro. I would have killed him, literally. Hey, um, thanks for stopping by. It didn't save any of the changes that I made. All right, where are we going next, squad lead? Where are we going next? The Don. This game makes me think about uh, Enlisted, which then Makes me want to play Enlisted. My, yeah, my audio is busted. I don't know if I need to restart the game. Or if it's just this match. I guess we'll find out next match. There's like a bunch of guys. Ah, oh, jeez. Achievement completed revengeful. 
Okay, before we spawn in again, let me see if I can actually select these. This, this, that. Let's see if it saves. Yes. Okay, good. Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie yep, two. and we got the tank too. Nice. This game also makes me think of squad something I need to do a let's play is squad even if it's just like for a day of just playing it same thing with uh insurgency I don't really do a whole lot of like first person shooters uh let's plays but ever since I started like battlefield other weekend oh jeez uh and then went to other stuff uh what halo 2 it uh kind of has made me think hey maybe because I, I i like i've always been a tactical person um i love tactical games never really been call of duty but when it comes to like uh squad arma insurgency like that was uh, i was playing all those games way before i started exporting uh story plays into youtube so unfortunately i missed out on a lot of i literally missed out on like three years of stuff um but also i mean if people request it too or want to see either streams or uh or youtube videos of it too then i'm always open to going back to those types of games as well that guy die was it teammate select alpha 2 somebody was taking alpha 1 for a little bit vehicle over there uh oh i was about to call in my tank but i'm gonna wait i have enough points but i think we have yeah battlefield has too many vehicles right now Spawn on Don damage. Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie two. Objective Bravo two is under attack. Objective Bravo one is under attack. I'm really confused. Ally friendly jammed by jammer. And we get more points. Our units are taking hold of objective Alpha 2. Huh. Wait, somebody can lock vehicles? I didn't even know that. Secured five. Challenge completed. Perfect. 
Oh, oh, boy. Nice, nice. What? These. G uh, control is actually pretty good. Can we see our challenges while we're in game? Or no, I don't think so. Area Alpha is under our control. Use the ammo. Use the ammo. Use it. <laughs> I need people to use my goddamn ammo. Ah, oh, damn. Our units are taking hold of objective Bravo one. I haven't played on the objective Moscow Bravo map one. yet, and I really like that game or that map in the uh that little thing objective bravo one is under attack objective charlie one is under attack How many people actually know about the um Our units are taking hold of objective alpha one about the challenges? I mean I was it's kinda like hidden in there. So and it's only resupply people like five times or whatever. So <laughs> Soon as you said that, four of us happened to drop ammo boxes. Oh boy. The guy was still alive. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Suppressing fire. Get back in, get back in.
Now there's no, uh, there's no health. <laughs> I need health. <laughs> Sir, please, thank you. Oh no. Board her jumper. I saw a head pop up. I wish your character would be like, hey, take some ammo. Nice. What the heck? 18. Move. Ah, oh, shit. What? Players in combat. There you go. There you go, boys. Take some ammo. <laughs> Take some ammo. Use the ammo. Use the ammo. Use the ammo. <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> it won't use the ammo. Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie 2. I want to test it out and see like like when the game ends, like, oh, are you gonna get like a ton of points or is it gonna be like kind of worthless? Oh, it's true. He, he just changed the objective to Charlie too. Oh, there's a guy right there. Dude, my audio is busted. It's like I can't hear it at all. cool thing about this like the maps feel like they're decent size and even though it's 20 v 20 like you respawn so fast that like it i feel like it's not like a, a hindrance like it, it it feels good still Team member ammo restored. Nice. I didn't really. I wasn't even looking at it. 
the score wow that was that a 30 minute match that was a good game there hey best squad that's what i like to see hey your squad